All right, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you quite possibly the best screen protectors ever for anything. But in this video, it is going to be for the iPad mini Gen 6 2021, and it is the screen protector that ESR makes. Right, just two quick things here. ESR sent me this for free in exchange for like an honest review video and stuff like that. Also as well, if you want to like have validation as to how good the ESR screen protectors are, there'll be a link here and a link in the description and also one at the end of the video taking you to a video where I show that I saved the screen on my iPad Pro M1 2021 because it had an ESR screen protector on. It took a fall and all the shock was absorbed by the screen protector. It shattered, but the iPad was left intact for its screen. Anyways, let me flip the camera over and get into this. Okay, so to start this off with, then what I'm gonna do is just show you the box and then obviously the contents that were in the box. So straight off here, ESR are saying, Scratch resistant, smooth and responsive, fingerprint resistant. Now, the only thing that I can truly tell you here is that I have used loads of these screen protectors on different devices by ESR. And the thing that I can say is that they definitely offer tons of protection and they've already saved a bunch of my devices from getting their screens either scratched or smashed. Okay, so let me just get the box out of the way there. Now, as far as the contents of the box is concerned, there's a little guide here, and uh, we'll just ignore that because for this video, I'm the guide, right? There's a microfiber cleaning cloth there, and then we get two cleaning kits here, so that's gonna be the wet wipes and such. Then we get two tempered glass screen protectors here. Now, here is the thing that makes this whole thing really worthwhile, and that is, this little frame thing, so it's a guide that you place over the iPad and it just allows you to put these things on straight because without this, I can't get anything on straight. It's also worth noting as well that outside of this iPad, ESR do the same kind of thing for a ton of other devices. So what I'm gonna do now is let me get my iPad into shot and let's start getting this screen protector on. Okay, so here is my iPad mini and let me just get into one of these packs here. Okay, and we'll see what's in here. All right, well, there's actually another microfiber cleaning cloth in there as well, so that's gonna be handy. Now, there's the wet wipe, and here is something which you're supposed to use this, as we'll probably see there, it says dust removal sticker. Now, I've got to be dead honest here, I don't have much luck with these things. I don't know whether it's if I'm doing it wrong, but what tends to happen is I tend to smudge things a bit more when I use this. These are designed to be that last stage to take the final bits of dust off the screen. However, I avoid these because I have too much trouble with them. It might work better for other people, it might just be me. But what I tend to do is try and get the screen on as fast as possible, or the tempered glass screen protector on as fast as possible as soon as the screen on the iPad or the device that I'm using has been cleaned and then that way we can kind of try and avoid like you know excessive dust getting on it after the cleaning okay so I'm gonna just show you the actual little frame here as well because I'm not too sure which way around to do this sometimes I put the frame on first and then do the cleaning or then I do the cleaning first and then take you know then put the frame on now this way round I think do you know what I'm gonna put the frame on first time round here and then let's do it that way famous last words I'm probably gonna end up using that second tempered glass screen protector now I'm not entirely sure whether I can get this in focus but on the inside of this frame here, we can see that it's got like a lip all the way around. It's got like these little grooves on it and stuff, or these little like, you know, sticky out bits. Well, basically all they do is just grip the iPad. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay quiet for a second. And as I do this, you might hear it click on, hold on. Actually, yeah, there was some slight little clicks there, so hopefully you might have heard that. So what I'm gonna do is leave this on now, and I'm gonna try it with it on. Like I say, you can do it with or without this being on, and then you put it on last and put the screen protector in. Now what I'm going to do is attempt to do this as quick as I can. What it is, you can take your time over this, and then the last bit before you put the screen protector on, 
you can kind of like, you know, be quick with that. The problem is here is I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on doing a video and stuff, and it just, just doesn't work out that well for me usually as I'm talking, trying to do these things, which is why sometimes I have to go to the second screen protector. <laughs> right, so let me just get that wet wipe handy. Now, actually, what I will do first before I do that, let me just show you as well the, uh, the tempered glass here. So, in fact, I will take it out of the, the bag there. So what happens is... Hopefully we can see here, there's a sticker there, right? Now what happens is when it goes down, the sticker pulls from the bottom because the sticker pulls the cellophane that's protecting the glass that, you know, the, the side of the glass that goes down onto the iPad screen. So we whip that off and then drop it in as it were. Now before I do that, I'll also show you, hopefully we can see, I don't know if I can get proper focus here, but there's a notch here on the glass. So what we do, that notch there obviously lines up with the camera. So make sure you put it notch first over the camera. So we'll get to that in a second. I'm explaining all this in advance because there's a fair chance I might mess things up here. <laughs> right, so what I'm gonna do is give it a good old clean with this cleaning cloth here. So. Let me get right in there. I mean, you know, the thing is, if you do this, like, fairly soon after you've bought your iPad and maybe immediately, like I'm doing, you know, you're not really going to have, like, a ton of gunk on the screen to have to get rid of. So, you know, hopefully these things are not going to be that difficult to do for you. For me personally, like I say, <laughs> because I'm trying to talk at the same time, what it is, I've, I have a screen in front of me off the camera, and I've got to look at that as well just to make sure my framing's right and check focus and all this stuff. Whoa, the troubles of David. Right, so let me just do that. So I think I've done that sufficiently good enough. Now let me get this little uh, microfiber cloth here, and what we'll do... We will just go over and dry everything off. Now make sure you do this thoroughly, all the drying and whatnot, and get right into the corners, because what's gonna happen into the corners there, it might still have a little bit of fluid in there. Now the thing is with that fluid, don't worry about it, because it, it will evaporate. It's base, It's like, like an alcohol-based type cleaning solution, so it would naturally kind of evaporate off anyway, but it's always best just to get into the corners, just so you don't have like any lumps of it in the corners, which could end up like, you know, stopping the glass from sticking down properly because you might have a little bit of fluid under it. Okay, now I think I'm quite close to this being perfectly correct. So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> I need to do this as fast as possible so no dust gets on it. Actually, at this point, once you use the microfiber cleaning cloth there, that is when you would use that dust removal sticker. The choice is yours. It's just for me personally, I always have a terrible time with them. Okay, now I think that's it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place the glass over it like this, just so no dust going to get on. Then pull that tab from below like that. Now I'm going to rest the glass at the top of the frame there on the inside. And then let it drop down on its own and it will guide itself in inside that frame so let me just let that pop down and then maybe give it a run through the middle like this as i'm doing as we can see it splits that bubble to rise on it oh look at that oh that i think that's my best one so far <laughs> Right, defo do that thing, run your finger down the centre there, because as you, hopefully you're seeing it, that bubble was being split across like that. Oh, I think that went on perfect, first go. Right, this might be one of the rare occasions where I don't have to dive into the spare glass. <laughs> okay, let me just give this a little bit. Oh, do you know what? Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Right, give me a second. What I'm going to do here... I'm just going to try and get into, like, we'll get this up close to the camera lens. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this properly. Right, but this looks ace. Hold on. Oh, do you know what? There is absolutely, oh, there's no bubbles or anything here. Now, what it is, I might have to just try and, it, it's difficult with this camera sometimes, but if I can try and get the angle on it and stuff, 
we'll be able to see well we can definitely should be able to definitely see there are zero bubbles so not even bubbles into the corner or anything like that okay now that's gone on perfectly do you know what right i'm going to try something mad here which i shouldn't really do let me just take the the, uh, the camera off the tripod and i'll go handheld with it let's see if that makes a difference so we can get a close-up on the screen <laughs> okay look i know this is all going to look a little bit mad but if I just try and track across this screen, what it is, some of that light glare will probably help us actually. Um, but honestly, look at that. Zero bubbles, nothing into the edges or the corners. And look at that, it is clean. It doesn't even look like it's got anything on it, like, you know, an extra piece of glass over the top. Right, that is that. Oh, it's gone out of focus. Oh, David, what have you done? Okay, there we go. I think we're back in focus. Uh, let me pull back up here a bit. Look at that. That is fantastic. Right, I have to say right now, that is my best application of one of these ESR screen protectors to date. This one is fantastic. Right, listen, I'll end the video here. Otherwise, I'm just going to carry on yammering on like a big weird person who's dead into screen protectors. <laughs> but listen, at the end of the day, these things definitely do something for your screens and do definitely offer you some protection, okay? Anyways, what it is, I'm going to dive off now, but there will be links and stuff in the description below for this and a bunch of other stuff and if you've liked the video and if you definitely think about getting into like the ipad mini and stuff i've got a ton of things coming up to do with it so yeah definitely subscribe to my channel click the bell notification icon all that funky stuff i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now